Hello, I'm Simon from Whale, and this is just a little video on the manual bilge pump range available from us. Um, before I start talking about all of these pumps, one of the things that we should always remember is that if you're installing a manual bilge pump, you should always have a little strum box attached to the inlet of these pumps that sits right in the bottom of your bilge. The strum box has a non-return valve in it, but it also has a filter on the bottom. The filter is about 10 millimeters, and that means that anything that's 10 millimeters can be sucked up and pumped through all of these pumps. But that's just a large debris, but it also means that your hose doesn't buckle under the suction. So that's the first thing. Always install one of those in the bottom of your boat. So we'll start with the high-end aluminium pumps. We've got the Gusher 30 and the Gusher 10, two very recognizable pumps. You can walk down to almost any marina or any sailboat um, or any um, fishing port and you will see these boat pumps installed on the boats out in the open, out in the elements. The Gusher 30 has two diaphragms. As you can see, it's got two halves. So when you pump, when you push forward, it pumps. When you pull back, it pumps. On the Gusher 10, when you push forward and back, that counts as one pump. So for each movement of this, you get two. For this, you get one. Um, the Gusher 30, you can remove the front and rear covers to service or clean by hand, so you don't need any special tools. And it is also rated as a fire pump as well as an emergency lifeboat pump. The Gusher 10 um, is much more simple and it can be installed on a bulkhead, it can be installed on the floor and it can be installed through, uh, through deck as well. So we'll move on then to our composite pumps. This is all of them are plastic, with the exception of the double acting Mark V. It has an aluminium center. Now, as you can see, you've got two ports here, and you've also got two ports here. So, much like the Gusher 30, it pumps on both actions, but you have two inlets and two outlets. Um, this pump gives you a really superior flow um, and is typically used on boats that are quite large, so anything over 30 feet. Um, again, the handle is removable and you also have a version which is on deck and through deck. We then move to its smaller brother which is the Mark V Universal. The Mark V Universal rep um, is very much like the Sanitation Mark V. It's got the same head but a slightly different back. Now this pump is available on the on deck version like this or the through deck version and again it has this access port at the front which you can open up in case there's any debris and remove that debris. So these are for the larger boats. We move on to the sort of 30 foot range and smaller. We have the Compact 50 and we have the Smart Bale. The Compact 50 comes in a through hull version only or through deck version only. It comes with the um, with the cover, the white cover on it, and the handle is obviously removable. One of the nice things about this pump is that you can loosen the clamping ring and spin the inlet and outlet round to suit your particular installation. So the Smart Bale is very different from all the rest of these pumps that I've talked about today. And the reason for that is that we want to have a pump that doesn't have a removable handle. So it's not something that can get lost. The handle is built into the front or into the deck cover that the others would have. Lift it up to suck the water in, push it down to pump the water out. So the handle is incorporated into the pump itself, so nothing to get lost. Um, but it does mean that you've got slightly less mechanical advantage, so you can't, um, you might not be pumping at this for as long as you would one of these, because they'll pump a lot more water. Now this pump is very easy to install. You drill one hole in your deck, um, you slide it in, push it down and put two screws in the bottom so it's self-locating. Another nice thing about it is it's got these inlet and outlet ports that rotate. Now this is one inch, if you want one and a half inch, you turn the port to face the other one, give it a wiggle, pull it out, in the box will be a one and a half inch one and you just put it in the same way and now you've got one and a half inch ports. So very simple and flexible to install. But I must say that before you install or specify any of these pumps, please check out our catalog, but also our website for the pump selection charts, which will guide you to the right size of pump for your vessel and also for the right application. Thank you very much.